what is good with y'all welcome back to a new vlog hope you guys are having a gracious day today's gonna be a long day i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm ready for it so i'm not complaining just to address the um the bonnet uh <laughs> yo a lot of people be asking me why i be wearing a bonnet knowing that i have waves and it's just like all right i'll explain i mean it's primarily the ladies and i don't really care and they shouldn't care because um wife that but the reason i be wearing a bonnet is because sometimes i have my hair combed out and to wear a do-rag it would just look silly and like the second kind of obvious reason is just because like when you tie your do a little bit tight to make sure it doesn't lift up too much like it, it hurts after a while so i just prefer to not have any stress on the back of my head but yeah i mean besides that uh I look good in it too. Like you can't, you can't knock me wearing a bonnet, bro. You can't knock me. So I do have clothes that I want to crop right now. Initially, I didn't want to crop them because like they give like an oversized look. Sometimes I prefer it. I have tried to go oversized for certain looks, and some of them just don't work with me. You know what I'm saying? Like certain pieces just don't oversize the way I want it to oversize. That is the case with a couple of pieces that I have here. The first tee I'm going to crop. Is a you know cool little racer tee, cool little racer tee. I'm gonna see how it looks and figure out, of course, where I need to crop it. But I do know that I want to crop it. The second tee that I am going to be cropping is uh you know just a little thrifted tee I found. You know nothing too crazy. And of course the third piece that y'all seen is this flannel. It's navy and white flannel. It's becoming that season, so I gotta bust out the flannels and you know the workwear jackets and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to get myself right. But yeah, I have tried the oversized look with this, and it just it it just wasn't it for me. So knowing what the rest of my flannels look like cropped, I prefer my flannels, all of my flannels to be cropped. I'm not gonna hold you. So you know, let's try it on. There is a couple more things I wanted to crop, but I might just do that on my own time and figure it out. Let's just, I'm gonna just focus on right now and what I wanna do right now. All right, so first T, first T. You see, it does give off that, or not give off, but it is oversized. You know, the sleeves are pretty long, good enough for me. But it's just too, like, I don't know. Like, I could rock it like this, but more times when I'm wearing a fit, or like, let me say like wearing shorts, I have to sag the shorts a little too low and I'm not trying to do that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like with cargos, it still works. I just don't have too much cargos that are like baggy, you know? At least when it comes to the colors that would work with this shirt. So it's like, I might as well just crop it, you know? It's like, it looks good oversized. It hurts that I want to do this, but it needs to be done. I'm gonna show you guys an example of how I want this to look. So this is like the best example I have of how I want it to look. Like it still has that somewhat boxy look because of the oversized fit. You know, sleeves are long enough, but it's just, it sits right on the waist. You know, not too short, not too long. Kind of just right, you know, this is exactly how I want it to look. I'm like getting indecisive. Uh, stuff you go through, man, the stuff you go through. I don't know when the last time I wore that shirt, but man, I smelled sexy that day. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna crop to like, I'd say, I'd say about here. What y'all think? I'd probably do about here. I'm gonna be cutting with a scissors, so it might roll up a little bit. I don't wanna do it like that, knowing that my sister has a sewing machine, but man, I don't care, bro. Like, I just don't care, you feel what I'm saying? I just don't. Just about, just about the same thing with this one. I'm probably gonna do, it's gonna be way lower. I'm probably gonna do like right here. Yeah, like right here. Seems pretty fine, because if it rolls up, I'll come up to like here. See, when it comes to a flannel now, I want it to fit exactly like this. This is like a perfect, a perfect crop in my opinion. You feel me? It's not too high. It sits right. It sits right on the waist, and it's not rolling up. So, you know, man. I know the colors don't go, but like, I look good in my flannel, bro. Although I could pull the oversized look when it comes to them, it's like, 
I just prefer it to fit, to, just to look fit. I'm almost at the conclusion that oversized is just not for me. Just almost, just almost. See like, although this looks fire, probably not with a black tee. I don't know how I feel about the black tee. Like although this works, gives off like a cozy, like a cozy look, you know? Something I'm okay with. It's like, I could work with it, but I just prefer it cropped. I just prefer it cropped. Someone stop me. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get to cropping. Ugh. Okay. So when it comes to cropping, I normally have a, um, a marker. I don't have a marker right now. My mom stole it. I need it back. back. Okay. I need it back. But um, we're just gonna do it by eye this time. Normally I'm just I would just cut up and then just cut across just to give myself reference of where I'm cutting. And let me change uh, this angle so y'all can see it a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Y'all can see that. Y'all can see that well. One thing I can tell y'all is it takes a lot of focus and it takes uh, some steady hands. So if you don't got steady hands, give up. All right, we're gonna start off lower than I want to because I don't want to cut too high and then I'm like oh man I shouldn't have cut that high now I'm gonna be showing you guys how I cut off bad mind people dry people still swimming <laughs> you know Yo, y'all alright? Are you sick, brother? No, I'm not sick. It's just, it's crazy how my nose just started running out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm just, That's crazy. I'm just, you know, doing a little, a little filming. Not too oh, crazy. Just to say hi, please. Are you doing, like, you're gonna be in the crib all day? Yeah, basically. I should stop by? You what? I should stop by? You could, y'all. Yeah. All right, bet. I'm gonna see what time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be over there in like, like an hour or so then. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, we'll see. I will see. I'll let you know. Alrighty. All right, bet. All right. So what I like to do when it comes to flannels, I like to just cut like an inch or two below the last button. Obviously, give the button enough room to not tear. You know what I'm saying? I hate that I'm doing it by eye right now because I normally have a line to just follow and I don't. <laughs> ah! I could have went a little higher. Just a little bit. All right, so the pieces are done cropping. Let me just step into the frame. You know what I'm saying? Let me just show y'all. I feel like I was supposed to go a little bit more higher on this crop, but I'm not gonna lie. This is perfect. This is just how I need it to be. I probably should have came. It looks a little bit higher on the front. Just a little bit higher on the front than it is all around, but nah, yo. This is exactly why I need my stuff cropped. Cause like the oversized look for certain things just doesn't hit like the crop look for certain things. Hmm, yeah, this is hard. This is perfect. Man, all that, look at all that pain, bro. Look at all, look at all that pain, bro. Look at all that pain, bro. Not gonna lie, y'all, this was the one I was the most worried about. But it came out pretty good, pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Man, forget oversized, bro. Forget oversized, bro. It just don't work like this work, bro. Can I, can I just get some clapping emojis in the comments, please? Can I just, like, y'all see the bag? Fits me just exactly how I need to fit me, bruh. And it is gonna roll up a little bit. It'll probably roll up to like, it'll roll up, but you know? The one thing about doing this is you just can't throw your tees in the dryer. You just can't do that. You have to hang dry these tees or else they're gonna shrink. And once they shrink, then they actually become a crop top and you look like a lady. I don't know if that's what you wanna do then, I mean, to each his own, but me, I'm not. All right, man, we still got a long day ahead of us. I do gotta get my hair washed, just to lay down my curls again, get my waves back. 
Um, and then I gotta get ready to go out with the family. So, uh, yeah. I don't know where we are right now, but I'm at a family barbecue, annual family barbecue that is normally on a hot day, but it is expected to rain. So we're getting a little bit of sunlight. But I don't expect it to last too long. It's part of the reason why I wore black. Yeah. So it's crazy. Family was setting up from like 10 in the morning. I just was not doing that, bro. Not doing that, bro. It's a good thing I brought an extra shirt, cause if I didn't bring an extra shirt, bro, and I decided to like, I decided to like play some volleyball or something, cook. I would have been done. I'm surprised they even started cooking the food already. I don't even feel like everybody's here yet. I don't know how this guy Zello's whole fam is here and he's not here, but what's up with you, bro? I don't know what this guy's up to. He's probably working or something, but. Do better, bro. Do better, dog. My phone's even getting hot, bro. I don't want to keep these AirPods in my ears, bro. So I've made a vow to myself that um, I'm going to start wearing my hair out a little more. Have I started yet? No. Oh. That's fine. I'm gonna get on top of it. I'm getting irritated of the fact that I've been wearing hats so much. Like, I've gotten myself so used to um, wearing a hat since like high school. Like, every time I have a fresh cut, it's like I rock the fresh cut for like two days and then I'm just like, nah, I'm not feeling this anymore. Even back when I had hair, it's like as soon as I got a retwist or like, um, I'd get a braid up. I just felt that the style looked better with a hat on. Crazy. So I've kind of just conditioned myself and now it's like I got to break out of that habit of always throwing out a hat. It's so easy to just throw on a hat, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, we gotten too bougie nowadays. You guys see this? These are water balloons. It's not even just the regular balloons that you like, you open from the bottom and you pour the water in. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. It's like... It's like a legit pack that you, you pull water in from the middle. Not what I grew up on. Not gonna lie. I don't know how y'all feel about raising your kids, but I feel like I want to raise my kids the way I was raised. Like I want them to experience the same things that I've experienced. So I'm gonna buy a Wii. I wish I still even had the devices that I had as a kid. I don't know where they disappeared to. But it's getting cloudy, man. Starting to get rainy and we're here trying to play flag football, yo. Crazy. It's starting to drizzle, bro. That's tough. Yeah, this is crazy, gang. I don't even know if y'all can see it, but. Oh, you want to be in the video? <laughs> so it's looking like we're going to eat before we play it. Sun's coming back out a little bit, but you know, it makes sense to play right now. Cause let me just show y'all how the weather's gonna look. Since I already had a hot dog, I just wanted the Mac, I'm not gonna lie. This is the, yo, the way my auntie makes the Mac, oh. I need to learn how to make it. I need to get her her tips and tricks, you know what I'm saying? Her her recipe, because once I learn how to make this, bro, the guy that already loves me. That's just gonna make it worse for y'all boys, man. No Bev is crazy. Mm. 
Yeah, the north, the, the, the pump is on, so. Rain calm down. We're getting ready to play flag football. I'm trying to warm up. I guess we're trying to get everyone situated, but everyone's all over the place type stuff. So me, I'm just ready to, you know, I'm feeling back in my, in my QB element, bro. Yeah, bro, these kids can't be playing around the camera, bro. I gotta be running cute. Yo, these, yo. Here, bro. I thought that was some motion. That is not motion, bro. Oh, you moved it. <laughs> These guys aren't trying to hoop, bro. These guys aren't trying to play. One thing that's irritating me right now is the ball is wet. Everyone is going to be dropping catches when I think about it. The rusher will be on defense. They're trying to pull the flag of the quarterback. Make sense? Bro, I, 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 that's their job. They're trying to get the flag of the quarterback. That is no point. You gotta tell me to switch sides, like I didn't call this side. It's starting to rain like crazy again, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna get no football footage for y'all. I'm just letting y'all know. We are back in the room, bro. I'm just finishing up this last season of too hot to handle. I'm not gonna lie, this season is not it, coach. The thing that's irritating me about this show is just the fact that this season, these guys know they're on too hot to handle. They know the prize, the prize fund is raised, and they know they're on camera. Yeah, they still do what they do. It doesn't make no sense to me, bro. Realistically, they should have stopped at season four. The priority is just the entertainment at this point. It's not about them. If you feel what I'm saying, it's not about them. It's not about them finding love. It's not about, I'm just not jacking it. It feels so fake. At least this season, it feels fake. I feel like I wasted my time watching this show. My precious time. But there are shows that I have watched recently that did not do that at all. So me, I'm more of like a drama person. More like a drama, suspenseful show type of guy. So, you know, I like shoes, shoes. I like shows like you. You know, like Stranger Things, Lupin, Dead to Me, Crazy Show, Squid Game. I got these figures for a reason, but one of my favorite shows of all time. But you know, that's my kind of lane when it comes to shows. And one of the shows I've recently watched, I'd highly recommend it to y'all. I'm gonna let you do the research, of course, if you're interested, based off of my word. But like, Fool Me Once? <sighs> Insane. Insane. That show will have you on your heels, on the edge of your seat for the whole season. And in the end, like, since it's a limited series, it's like, it ends so perfectly. But y'all just watch it. I'm not gonna say too much. I'm not gonna say anything at all, actually. Just watch the trailer, so I don't know. Another show that I've recently finished, well, I, this one's not so recent, probably like two months, three months ago. The Gentleman is also crazy. I'd also recommend that. I'd recommend that before Fool Me Once, for sure. I even just heard that they're doing a season two, so I'm kind of gassed about that. I literally just finished watching that Griselda show, the Griselda Blanco show. Never knew her story. I've only heard about her in like song lyrics and like seen her in memes and stuff, but I just never really cared enough to do the research or anything. So the show is great. I say honorable mention, Baby Reindeer. I enjoyed that show a lot. And I think that the main character being the actual person who went through what that character went through in the show is, insane like i don't know how he did it but he did a very good job playing a role of himself <laughs> it's crazy to say that i want to know what you guys been watching recently though so interact with me in the comments you feel what i'm saying let's have some conversation i want to see what y'all have been about you know i want to see what what i can kind of fish out of what you guys put in the comments and see if it's actually good you know what i'm saying hopefully it's on netflix because if it ain't on Netflix, I'm not going to say I wouldn't watch it, but I just don't have a website that I would be able to watch the shows on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to subscribe to no Disney Plus. I'm not going to subscribe to no Prime Video. I'm good. Shows are like one of the few things that's been keeping me up recently. Because honestly, if it's not editing and working, I'm watching shows or I'm in like the PlayStation party talking with my mans. Rarely do I play video games anymore. It's just... 
I'm not interested, you know, so I'm gonna have to be waiting till like GTA 6 or something. Other than that, man, I just don't be playing no games at all. It's not really my seeds no more. Every time I get on the game, I play the game for like 30 minutes to an hour, I get frustrated, and then like my, my head's hot, and I'm just like, yo, why the hell am I playing this? You know what I'm saying? So I'd just rather not, I'm good. Yeah, this is one of the things that have been keeping me up a little too late, actually. And I need to cut it off. I, like Not cut it off, but like, I need to dumb it down for sure. Going to sleep past three is just like, it's not a thing anymore. I used to just stay up to stay up. But I just came to a point where I'm like, what am I staying up for? I ain't got nothing to do right now. But either watch shows or scroll on social media. And I already don't like doing that for a long time. So phone's down, everything is down. It's like... All right, let's just sleep. I for sure need to fix my schedule. So I know that is what's gonna happen as of next week. Cause next week is gonna be a week of just straight work and sleeping. <laughs> I will be out camping next week. I know this is not just some regular camp cabin type of vibe, but I will indeed be camping. Going to sleep at like probably 11, 12 o'clock. Waking up at like seven, eight o'clock. It's a direct conflict of my sleeping schedule. So doing that for a week is for sure gonna fix it up. Camp is gonna be a, a very interesting experience on top of that. Cause like I said, I'm working as well as I'm kind of stepping into such a nostalgic point in time in my life going back there. Camp is something that I look forward to. Me and the guys look forward to. Me and our group, you know, actually look forward to going to every year as youth, as teens. You know, I'm gonna be doing videography, so I'm gonna be recording all things media, making sure they get great quality footage, bringing this camera around. I'm also gonna be helping out with the music video. So knowing that I'm helping out with the music video, I'm gonna be helping out with the song too. That's gonna to be interesting as well. I wanna see how that comes out. I don't know how the song is gonna be constructed or whatever, but we kinda of have like expectations to meet. So we're trying to exceed them. Man, there's so much There's so much about camp that it's like, I'ma just have to let you guys just see, you know, I'ma of course bring you guys along and let y'all have the experience that I have. You know, you guys are obviously not gonna see everything. I wish I could show y'all everything, but I will be working. So I will be getting footage for them and footage for myself as well. But I don't know how much time I'm gonna be able to actually focus on pleasing y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I'll do my best. I will indeed do my best. I'm going to be on go. We'll see where next week brings us. We'll see how it goes. Well, hopefully no one gets hurt. Hopefully I don't get sick or nothing like that. So with that honestly being said, I feel like I don't need to say no more. I'm going to just let y'all see. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe. Comment your favorite shows as I asked y'all. Or not favorite, but like recent shows. I'm interested. Let's have a conversation as I said. You guys have a great one. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say right now. I'm going to let you guys see uh, what's up next. Roll the clip. So this week, I'm going to be headed to Youth Camp 2024. I haven't been to Youth Camp in years, but this time I'm not going as a camper. I'm not going to be doing what the kids will be doing. I'm going as a staff member, and that is the first ever 